Uh, now to travel though, and Debbie's been back on the Central Otago Rail Trail, but you get there by train. Yeah, absolutely. So this is on the bucket list of railway buffs, nature lovers, history enthusiasts. It's Tyree Gorge Railway and it's something rather special. Take a look. Start your day at New Zealand's most photographed building, Dunedin Railway Station, officially opened in 1906, designed in the fashionable Edwardian Baroque style. The rail journey we're going on today is considered one of the best. One of the best in the world. Just inland from Dunedin, fields become hills and at Salisbury, we go through the longest tunnel on the line. So on our line there's 10 tunnels, there's two on the main line, but from our line from Wingatui to Middlemarch, we go through 10 of them, like we're going through right now. Um, when they, got, they were producing these, these tunnels, they're pretty narrow. Um, as you go through, you've only got about six or eight inches of clearance in some of them. Then our first glimpse of the Wingatui Viaduct. At 197 metres long, it's one of the largest wrought iron structures in the Southern Hemisphere. We're 47 metres above the Mullaki Stream. Taieri Gorge Railway is a trip back in time. Some of these heritage carriages date back to the early 1900s. The railway itself was built and finished being built in the 1890s. Uh, it's just on 130 years old, once they got over the Wingatui Viaduct um, 130 years ago in 1887, they could complete the rest of the line which finished in, a, in about 1891. Yeah, building it on the schist, which is a ridiculously soft rock, um, made it very difficult because they couldn't use dynamite, uh, it was all done by hand. Uh, with the wrought iron, which a lot of our viaducts and bridges are made out of, that was formed in Dunedin and brought out here um, and because of the steepness of the gradient. They had to do lots of little trips rather than one big trip, making it longer and more difficult, uh, taking up to two years to go over 300 metres. The steepest part of the gorge is also the most scenic. The Tairi River flows far below the notches, a gradient of 1 in 50. We're climbing a metre for every 50 we travel. That's as steep as we can get, um, essentially, and especially with the narrowness of our, our gauge, which is three foot six. Uh, it's a very narrow line uh, with a steep gradient, so it made it very hard work on the steam engines. The line ends in Middlemarch. It's the base for the cycle surgery team who've been kitting out cyclists for 17 years. Our bikes we completely design. My husband designs them and we get them made, especially for the rail trail. So it's quite rough, it's a gravel surface, so it's for comfort. So the majority of our clients don't ride a bike, they're not cyclists. They're over 50 um, and they basically want it comfortable. Right. So we have raised the handlebars up higher, so you're sitting in an upright riding position. Um, have seat post suspension so that it takes a bit of jarring out of the trail so it's you know, not going to be so sore for you. Um, put in light race wheels so they can still go quite fast which makes it easier for them, for them to cycle up the wee hills. The Strath Tairi Plain is the eastern portal for the 150 kilometre Central Otago Rail Trail. The Strath Tairi Valley where you've got the Rock and Pillar Range on your left um, and then you go through the Mania Toto with the huge wide open skies um, and then you know there's the gorges with the viaducts and the tunnels. Either continue on by bike or hop back on the train for the return trip to Dunedin. From the station from the moment you leave all the way up through the 130 year old viaducts and through the bridges and the tunnels that were all made by hand um, using local rocks and local craftsmen in, in Dunedin which industrially at the time was, was thriving. Um, so we want to keep the needle on the showcase and the work that's been done for us all those years ago um, and the track and the tunnels and the carriages, we, we want to showcase that to the world. That looks absolutely amazing. Last time I was on a train, I think, was in when I was on the Thomas the Tank Engine at Glenbrook, so oh, I need wow. to go. So if you're not cycling at Middlemarch, what else can you do? Well, you've got about an hour there, so you can have lunch. The Strathtairi Hotel isn't far away, and Quench Cafe and Bar, just a short walk from the railway station. They also have a really cool craft shop in the railway station. So spend a little time going through there and look at all the crafts that you could buy. And then since you've only got an hour in Middlemarch before the train heads back, there's not, you don't actually need much to fill your time, but I loved Middlemarch. I'd love to spend more time there. Oh, so. excellent, that's really good yeah. to know. Hey Debbie, thank you so much. Enlightening as always. Now for more great ideas for what to do in Dunedin and surrounds, you can go to dunedinnz.com.